my animal love fest friends and family. So, I come out here and I'm looking for Sheena. I even asked this gentleman over here, have you seen my cat, my gray and white cat? Look at this angel, enjoying his day in the breeze, relaxing, all peaceful. I come over here, last I seen Sheena, she was laying on the curb right over there in that shade she was fine next to him everything was cool gas cans are covered come outside can't find her anywhere looking all over where's my cat where's my cat where's my cat i look up underneath the bus because she's a climber she's definitely my acrobat ever since she was a kitten so i look everywhere no kitty, no kitty. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she was in there behind the generator, jumped up here and went back there. And it's all filled with oil and grease from that other generator being so messed up. So the whole pan is filled with oil, just grease, black grease, not filled, but you know, enough to take your fingernail and get a good scrape off of it. So I pull her out, right? She has minimal amount of oil on her feet. So I go inside the bus to get some wipes, you know, pet wipes. Start cleaning her feet. I go back in, or no, I go turn around to grab another wipe because I set the wipes on my little drawer here. She jumps back inside and I can't find her again. Where the heck did she go? I turn around and she's gone. I find her back into that space. I pull her out again for a second time. And now she's got grease on the back part of her feet. The long, I don't know what you call it, like, you know, like her legs, right? Not just her toes, but like the whole length of her foot now has grease on it and the tip of her toes. Not much on her side, even though she was laying on her side. I had wiped it off the first time. So now I'm trying to wipe it off of her. And I put that thing, it's just a rubber mat that I got at Home Depot. Just shoved it in there so she can't climb back in. Go to grab her to clean her. Look at this, and she's gone. She was just right there while I was filming. That means she's underneath the bus. Get your butt out of there. I mean, this kid, she's going inside, and she's going on leash. Like, I don't care if she don't move or not, that's going to be her damn problem, because I've had it with her. She's got this I-don't-give-a-crap attitude, 17, going on 18, and I've just had it. And the only reason that she doesn't wear a collar as it is, yeah, see her? She's underneath her. She knows I don't want her under the bus because the street is on the other side. And still, she keeps going. I put her on a leash and she had a fit and disappeared under the bed for two days. Wouldn't come out because that's how she is. Get your butt over here before I get the broom. I'm going to get the broom. Get out of there now. Sheena. Oh my goodness, you guys. And if you remember, at the the campground, you know, she's just wandering off, like, doing her own thing. I swear to God, I'm going to start video series, The Adventures of Sheena. <laughs> like, that's what I decided today. Like, where is Sheena? Where is Sheena today? Like, what is she doing today? Like, I tell her not to get on my kitchen sink. I turn around. She's laying across the kitchen sink. Tell it before I go to bed, get off the kitchen sink. I move things out of the way so that are in the way so that she can't get on the kitchen sink. I wake up this morning, the things that I had put there, like a uh, pot and uh, gosh, I can't remember what else it was. Anyways, it was in the sink. In the sink. Oh, and on the floor. What the heck was it? Oh, I can't remember what it was. It wasn't nothing, you know, nothing particular. Just my stuff, you know, so like putting something there claiming the space. No, it didn't matter. It didn't help. It was on the floor. God, it was like some kind of paper or something. I don't know what the heck it was. Um, anyways, 
so she just don't listen right like that's the whole point of what i'm saying it's like i literally tell her and she knows and in the apartment she never got on the kitchen counter and she could she was able to jump that high but she didn't because she knew she wasn't supposed to do that and now it's like she just don't care she just don't care i'm telling you this cat and carmella like i guess like i said before i don't know if I said it in a video or not, but it's like they must get to an age where they just don't give a crap, right? They just don't care. They do whatever they want, whenever they want, and even things that they never did, like all through their life. Like I said, she's an acrobat and she's always climbed on stuff her whole life. I have videos when she was a kitten, like, using one of those dryer, like, hand wash clothing uh, dryer racks. I had it in my hallway in the apartment, and she was literally tight walking it as a kitten. Like, that's how crazy. Lifting her up, herself up, like a bodybuilder, lifting their body weight up. It's just crazy. She's always been that way. But, <laughs> I don't know, it seemed like before we left the apartment it wasn't that much and now and now it seems like um how are you good to see you um now it seems like she's just gotten to an age where she just don't care and she's gonna do it like i said whatever she wants uh i don't know what is happening with her and she's hissing at me like that's the crazy thing is she's actually being rebellious to the point where she's being snotty and you know aggressive and she's never done that like she would have literally hit me in the hand um i was i was going to wipe her toe her front toe and she tried to smack the well smack my hand and she got the paper thank god she got that and not my hand because she was being super aggressive you see the grease on her feet yes i'm talking all about you because you are being so bad. Like, I don't even know you right now. You've never been this way and you've never been mean to me. You've always been so sweet to me. We've always been so close. And now you're just being so ornery. Look at her back feet. That's normally all white, right? It looks like I got a good amount off, but the bottom of her feet, you can see her pretty doggone black. Like, almost like Jaxie's black. Look, she's trying to figure out how to get back in there. See how bad she is? I wish I could let her in there. I wish I could, because it's nice and cool. Hey, why don't you come in the stroller, girlfriend? Look, Sheena. Let's see if I can put her in here. Then she can stay cool, just like Skye, and have a place. Okay, I'm gonna pick her up and put her in here. Hold on. I just put her in there, and all I did was try to turn her head that way so she could see that she can look out the front, and she's hissing at me. Right. I had the front of the towel down covering it, like the front, so dirt doesn't get in like that one did and uh so she immediately turned around so i opened up the the towel like i did folded it over and go to push her head the other way not aggressive just softly turn her head the other direction so that she could see that it was all open she can get fresh air and she hissed at me two times like i just don't know is it senile aggression like I don't know what the heck is going on with her lately and yet she'll give me all kinds of kisses and show me love and you know lots of affection like she always has but she just gets moody I guess that's what it is moody like an old lady why don't you just stay there where it's nice and cool see look now she's going to go back there once again and try to find out a way in. The answer is no, Sheena. See? See what I mean? This is what I'm dealing with with her. 
Like, imagine if I just put this there as I did before, you know, uh, as I went to go get the wipes and come back, and she's back in this space. Like, if I walk away right now, she will do whatever she can just to be stubborn and pull it out of there or go around it or whatever she can to get back into where. And I think sometimes it has to do with me just telling her no. Like, that's how bad she's been. See, she's totally fine. Totally fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with her physically. Like, she's not sick or, like I said, senile or anything. She's just a brat. She's, like, getting older and she's just being a freaking little punk. I hate having all this stuff right here. I wish I didn't have to have my gas cans covered like that. I gotta figure something out. I wish I had one more compartment. But, like, that's the gas tank right there. So I can't add a compartment there. I could add another compartment back here. Now that I think about it. There's a lot of space up underneath here. You can see right there. I could easily fit another compartment. I want to scrub this before it gets too rusty. Like, it's not that bad, though, really, if you think about it. And coming from Missouri, right? There are areas more than others that have rust but overall like it, it looks pretty good for a 92 but anyways point is is that I can fit up another compartment in between those brackets it looks like I could fit multiple if I really wanted to or one long one and add the bracket inside of the compartment but anyway I need that and that's actually a good place for it now that I think about it for the gas cans Right? They'll fit perfectly in height. Right there before the, what do you call it, thing goes? Uh, I can't think of what it's called right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so problem is is that I have no place to put my yes cans and they steal them. I've already stolen them twice. So because of that I have to have them chained up. And I had them chained to the side of the bus, but still I have to cover them because of the sun. I really put them underneath the bus, but yeah, that's what I was doing before and that's where they stole them from. But you know what? Now that I think about it, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them up underneath here again, under the front. That's what I did before and they didn't see them. You know, they only see them if they're driving by or walking by on the sidewalk. So as long as it's not readily noticeable, um, I can put it against that outside tire so they don't see it right there. Look over there. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end now. And I'm not sure what I'm going to call this video, but I'm thinking something like, I don't know, bad Sheena? No, that's not. That's not even describing it right it's like ornery <laughs> feisty feisty sheena oh gosh i don't know anyways say hi to jackson she's here we went for a nice long walk this morning we went to yum yums mom got coffee and a couple donuts and she enjoyed a nice long walk playing seeing other puppies and I was kind of investigating to see who has that pencil plant um, in front of their house and see if maybe I can notify or I'm gonna put up some flyers I believe with the picture of the plant and do some notification like just sharing maybe you guys can do the same and if you're wondering what I'm talking about I had put it up on Instagram and Facebook that uh, the pencil cactus plant look it up since I can't add well maybe I can add a picture later but if you go to our Instagram you'll see it there it's kind of it comes out green it looks like shoots kind of each branch comes out like a shoot leading to the next branch and as it gets taller it gets coral and yellow colors I think you've probably seen them they came out a lot because they're considered drought resistant plants However, they're extremely poisonous and toxic, toxic to animals, 
of all kinds, including horses um, and children. There was a little girl that almost died recently, and my neighbor's dog um, passed away last week from playing in the courtyard. They weren't aware of the plant. That's how we found out about it being poisonous, actually. Um, the dog was playing off-leash in the courtyard on his, you know, in his apartment building, and the owner noticed that he was playing with the plant or chewing it. I'm not sure what, how exactly it happened. All I know is that the dog had thrown up, had diarrhea, and then passed away almost immediately. So it was highly poisonous. And then I went to PetSmart last week in Van Nuys and noticed that they had the exact same plant sitting right outside the front door in a planter. So I contacted the store both by phone and spoke to their manager and I sent them a message on Instagram letting them know that the plant needs to be removed. They need to do whatever they can to notify their customers. You know, it, they don't have to, but I asked them if they would maybe put up a flyer notifying their customers of how toxic the plant is for both pets and children. Um, and they said that they would ask their team leader to, you know, look into doing that. But first and foremost, having it removed from the property and making sure that it's not at any other locations as well. So, got to start somewhere, but that's where I started. And so, if you guys can share the information and get it out to your friends and family, um, that would be really wonderful. You can save lives, literally save lives. So... I wish you well. I hope you're having a beautiful Sunday. And yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Say bye-bye. We're going to be going back to the campground soon too, by the way. So we'll be doing more videos from there. Um, unfortunately, my mom has to have some surgery. And so I'll go into that more once we know more. But we're waiting for the scheduled date right now. And then we'll be heading back up there. I've got to get a hold of this mechanic and pray that he can come and fix my brakes so we can, you know, not have to deal with that. But, yeah. Anyways, love you, love you, love you. Thanks for watching, guys. And please hit that like button and support us because it seems like no one does. We get lots and lots of views now more than ever, but no one actually hits the like button. So we would really appreciate the support. I always get the like button for any of you guys because I think it's so important to support each other. So we're going to just ask that you can do the same for us. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye. Say bye, Jaxie. Say bye-bye. We love you. Thanks for watching.